Okay, uh, the important thing that happened at the Ipswich and East Suffolk Clinical Commissioning Group on the 26th of March was the operational plan. And the operational plan is um, how much money do we get and where does it go? And that's probably of greater interest to most of us um, because it will have a direct impact on what treatment we get and where that treatment is delivered from. So if we look at the sort of the, the round global figures, what we're being told is um, the total budget, would you believe, is uh, 583 million, which is just over half a billion to look after all of us. And that's the, the allocation from central government that the CCG distributes in the best way that it can to get the best results uh, for us all. And uh, amongst many CCGs, ours has actually been very effective, very efficient, and is to be commended uh, for the work that it's done certainly over the last three, four years. Now, um, the money is split depending on what type of service uh, requires what. And the acute hospitals get somewhere around 290 million. I've rounded most of these figures up. Mental health gets uh, 58 million. Uh, community, and it's split into various sectors, but it looks as if it gets around 200 million. Okay. There's been a big debate, and it's been going on for years and years and years, that um, acute deals with about 5% of the population. 95% of the population actually is served and dealt with and looked after within the community. Uh, and there's been a hope that there should be a shift of resources from acute into community um, and that would then take care of um, social work and care and all that sort. So it was a, a, a sort of an organisation that didn't have lots of holes and lots of gaps whereby you sort of go from one thing to another and the care isn't in line with the care that you need or your house is not been adapted. So there, there's a will to do this but um, as with the MIU, the route to it is a pretty troubled one, full of potholes. And really, I suppose, in lots of cases, lots of folks protecting their own little fiefdoms and their own silos. So there is a great need that folk work together. Now, what was um, explained by uh, Jane Paling, the Chief Financial Officer, is that this amount of money we get is subject to a wonderful thing called the national health funding formula and it's got something like I think 28, 29 elements within it one of which was age and uh, geographical area and da, da 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 and that continually changes and I did ask the question with regards to because we are an aging population do we get a significant uplift for all of that and um, not really answered <laughs> But we'll go back and have another go. So those are the big ballpark figures. You've got £583 million to spend as wisely as you can, giving us the best health care that you can. And the delivery of the frailty clinic is to ensure that an awful lot of uh, expenditure could be avoided if folks from here didn't have to go either to Richrich Hospital or Colchester Hospital because they could and perhaps would be better looked after within the community.